Today we're making a quick and easy creamy blue cheese or Rockford cheese pasta for which you're going to need one large red onion chopped roughly. You want it to look something like that, not finely chopped. Have your onions so that it holds your sauce and adds texture to your pasta. Green pepper chopped roughly, same as your onions and mushrooms finely sliced. You're going to need two to three cloves of garlic, finely chopped. You're going to need 250 milliliters of fresh cream, obviously dry or fresh pasta, and your blue cheese. Grate your blue cheese finely, and then in a heavy based saucepan, in a little olive oil, stir fry your roughly chopped onions and green pepper until they are cooked but still crispy on the teeth. Then reserve them in a separate dish and fry your mushrooms with a little salt and oil in a separate pan. You've reserved your green pepper and onion, then stir fry your mushrooms. The salt over the mushrooms brings out the water in the mushrooms far quicker than if you don't put salt over them. And is the secret, it is a little trick to cooking your mushrooms quickly. Stir fry your mushrooms, making sure they don't stick to the base. At this point you can put your pasta into boiling water and your sauce will be ready at the same time. Cook until your mushroom juice or water has all but evaporated from the base of the pan. About 80% should be gone. You should only have about 20% left in the pan. Then you can add your chopped garlic and you can put your onions and green peppers back into the pan and stir fry for a further minute. The mushrooms should take about six minutes to reach this stage. Stir fry your mushrooms, onions, green pepper and garlic for another minute. Then you are going to remove from the heat so that you can add your cream and your blue cheese. A nice optional extra is a little fresh oregano or oregano which you can add to the pan before you add your cream. Something like fresh peas or tin peas also goes well with this dish. Once you've added your cream and your blue cheese, return to the heat to warm the cream through and to melt your cheese. Do not boil the cream in the pan and then you can mix it through the pasta, add a shake of salt and a little ground pepper and serve with parmesan cheese.